Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday, May 16th, and the sun is shining. It is supposed to be an absolutely beautiful weekend this weekend. So hopefully you can get out and enjoy that. I'm supposed to go bike riding later, so I'm excited. Um, all right, let's say our prayers. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord Jesus, thank you for bringing me to this, the beginning of a new day of life. I want to share this day with you. May everything I say and do and think please you and be my way of thanking you for all that you have done and do for me. Amen. Uh, we don't have, the book doesn't have prayers for Saturday for some reason. So let's um, remember all the people we want to pray for silently in our hearts or your prayers of thanks and gratitude. And let us say the words that Jesus gave to us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right, this morning, the virtue that came up was peacefulness. Um, some days this has been challenging. I'm gonna be very honest um, to find my peacefulness. So I'm gonna work on this one today. Um, hopefully you'll work on it with me. Peacefulness is an inner calm and tranquility. It is a sense of harmony with all creation. Inner peace comes from quiet reflection and prayer. We release the past and let anxiety go. We keep a graceful pace, not allowing ourselves to be rushed or overwhelmed. We do not give in to anger. We resolve conflict in a just and gentle way. Peace is giving up the love of power for the power of love. We choose the unity of peace over the fragmentation of fear. Peace in the world begins with peace in our lives. And they have on the back of the card a quote from one of my favorite prayers, the prayer of St. Francis. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. I like that. And yesterday's virtue was hope. The practice of peacefulness, as I shout over Olena drinking water. I have a tranquil spirit. I enter the peace of reflection. I release my fears. I move calmly without rush or hurry. I choose justice instead of anger. I choose unity over discord. I am thankful for the gift of peacefulness. It allows me to become an instrument of grace. That was a good one. So, crazy quarantine hair. I cannot wait to get a haircut. <laughs> I really can't. I know some of the some of you can can are right there with me. I have like fuzz going all the way down my neck. I look like a wolf in the back. It's just a lot of hair. It needs to go. And today we have two birthdays. So happy birthday to Frank Nodarce in our third grade. Happy birthday, Frank. Hope you have a good day. And to Mila, Mila Bautista in our pre-K four. Happy birthday, Mila. I hope you have a great birthday. Um, everybody enjoy your day. It's a beautiful day outside and I'll be back with story time later. Okay. Bye.